Okay, in this short video, you'll become an intermediate level master of how to use Rehearse Slideshow and Record Slideshow in Keynote for Keynote to can play automatically or exporting them to QuickTime to turn them into videos. To begin with, we are here in Keynote. Up here in Play, in the toolbar, we can go to Rehearse Slideshow. Rehearse a few times to make sure all your timings are right. You're gonna find sometimes, maybe you wanna go back in and uh, change something, and this is part of the editing process. So here we are, this is the first slide, and here I have all of my narrations. If you don't see it, over here, we can turn it on or off. So if you get in here and you don't see it, don't panic. Just scroll up here, click on this, and hit presenter notes, they'll show up. Now, we're in rehearse, which means nothing is being recorded. Let's give it a try. Do you know how to make an animated science video? An overview of what you need to know in Keynote. You need to know how to use presenter notes. Now I've made this particular one in Keynote, sorry, this is not practicing my narration obviously, so I need to really focus on the timing of the animations. I've practiced this many times before, which makes it much easier. You open through the view menu. Another pro tip here, go slower than you think you need to, that way you can just edit out mistakes if you wish to put it in iMovie. You type your narration in here. That gives you basically the gist. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. If I go down here, now I'm only in rehearse, so I don't need to, to nothing has been saved, nothing's been changed. Now, very slight variation, instead of rehearsing, once I feel confident, I can just record my slideshow. Sometimes what I do with a class is, I will have them turn off the microphone and then just record it all and do a narration separately. Sometimes, even with adults, they try too hard and they get flustered if they don't do exactly the proper timing. That way, if you record your narration and video separately, it makes it a little easier. You can just mix it up in iMovie or Final Cut Pro. In this particular case, let's record our voice. All right, once I click down here on the record button, it'll count down. Do you know how to make an animated science video? An overview of what you need to know in Keynote. Now, I'm gonna hit this again, that'll stop it. Just to show you, get out of it here. Now, in Play, I can play on this Mac. I'm gonna show you what I just recorded. Do you know how to make an animated science video? An overview of what you need to know in Keynote. Now, get out of that. So, now I have it, and if I wanted to, I could just play it for somebody right here in Keynote. But if I wanted to do a little more, I could go over here to the File menu drop down to export to and put it in QuickTime. I want to play back the slideshow recording and animated science video. I'm actually gonna call this delete because I'm not gonna to wanna to keep this um, and waste storage space. Click on export. Now you see it's going through here like so. Command tab over to my finder. And once it's finished, I find it right here where I wanted it to be. And I can now just play it Do as you a video. Know how to make an animated science video? Or I could just open it up in something else. I could choose QuickTime or VLC. Do you know how to make an animated science video? If you save it as a video file, you can do other things with it. You can like mash it up with uh, other videos you have or put it on YouTube, put it on a web page, whereas you can't do that directly with a keynote file. So that's basically it. One last uh, pro tip for you. If you're making it as a video, over here in document, you wanna go to custom slide size and you wanna put it to the dimensions 1280 by 720 points. That is the same size as your standard video. All right, everybody, good luck. I hope you have fun making stuff. The world is a The world is a remix.